Here we are back at the beach again today. Uh, second last day for the Gringo. Gringo, yeah. This time we made sure we put on sunscreen. So, have our agent on the phone. It's working for us. The guy never stops, I tell you. He just never stops. So, we're just gonna have a nice day at the playa. The playa. I still smell like papaya. I don't like it. I don't like a headache. No. <laughs> no. No. Boys are just surviving the wave. I mean, I'm eating a sandwich. Yeah. Inca Cola right there. So, played some piece of game. We'll have to film some later. Put the drone up. Could be, could just a beach day there. Just a beach day. No, it's not family friendly. Oh my. So after a nice day of activities, Jeff here is uh, re-sunscreening up. Uh, gonna eat some ceviche. Ceviche. Some ceviche. Some ceviche. Avicii. Avicii. We're gonna have some avicii. Made by, made by avicii. Uh, and yeah, this will be interesting. It's supposed to be good avicii. I'll just edit that out. <laughs> just gonna have to edit that out, have <laughs> So our day here at the beach is over. Uh, perhaps you'll notice I'm a bit redder than I was before. Happens. You should. You think I'm red now? You should see my back. Um, buddy over here is also a little bit redder, but what can you do? Uh, so I think we're gonna have pizza for supper, and then watch a match de football, and then go to bed crying about how bad our sunburns are. That seems like it's gonna be the plan for night, but uh, who knows? So yeah, it's pretty much just a nice day at the beach today. Second last day in Peru. So yeah, I had Mike and Ike's too, which were good. It's a big cost to lie. The game's already over. It was at 4 we watching highlights. Uh -huh. So they, they messed up. <clears throat> I'm very burnt. I'm just go there. I'm very getting really warm now, so. It's gonna be a long night of sleep. Couldn't sleep again great last night, but I think we're just chilling for the rest of the night. Me and Ben are gonna do some tech stuff and then go from there. So, yeah, this is gonna be a boring episode, but we had a nice relaxing day. It was a nice change. You're not gonna make an episode every day. Right? No, I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll see. We'll see. Whatever feels continuous, you know. Okay. It's all about flow. Just like those old hoodies everybody used to wear. It's about flow. It really is. I still don't feel that bad. You don't feel that bad? No, I know I look bad. Look at this. Like the lighting doesn't now just Oh actually nope, no. Nope. Oh just kidding, that worked. Oh, you look like a raw hot dog. I know. So what can you do? We had a nice day though. It was a great day. Was I great honestly day. don't know what I could have done. I applied sunscreen. Oh uh, you could have got me to rub your back, bro. Yeah, but like Us every Gringolandia day. people need to like, stick together. I my chest too. My chest red. Yeah, see I put sunscreen everywhere I put sunscreen on, I just didn't burn. I still burn any like <laughs> I just burn everywhere. Yeah, I didn't we burn, do. actually I didn't burn in the one spot I wanted to get a tan, which is right. Oh well. Proving sun's very selective, I guess. I guess so. Yeah, wow. Well. Tell us the story. This is our favorite pizza. And we order this pizza which our lives from the same place. It's right here. And that's, it has four cheeses. Okay. I don't know which ones, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> one of them is definitely mo mo mozzarella. That's the one on the top. Okay. And it also, I think, it has roquefort. 
Okay. And two others. <laughs> and <laughs> it's our favorite. So, I'll be. Uh, bon appetit or what? Uh, Exactly. <laughs> okay, pizza's done. It's bedtime. One, like half, like how many hours do we have left? Like twelve hours left in Lima, ish. No, twenty-four hours left. Twelve hours left in Lima. Twenty-four hours left. <laughs> you suck, but yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow morning. We're going surfing, kiddos. Hopefully. Marcel seems super enthused. The next day. How burnt do I look? Really burnt. Okay, it's surfing time. Bon chance. It's very different from where we live. Feels great on the sunburn. Uh, I'm excited to see Baldi take on the waves here. <laughs> Surf's up, bro. You should put a fin on your back. You look like a shark. No hair. Surfing, got a few sick pics. Can't wait to post those later on my blog. In your blog? In my blog. I'm starting a blog. Walking with a knife. Walking with a knife. Is that what he had? I didn't even notice. That's kind of scary. Are you more burnt? Uh, uh maybe. Our, uh, room got cleaned. Our room got cleaned? <laughs> yes, what do you mean? Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. This room or... No, it's just... She it cleaned up really... all my stuff. I wouldn't have made... I wouldn't have made it messy if I knew that I she know. was going to clean it. I didn't know I that. knew that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lo siento. Lo siento. <laughs> Uh-oh. Whoops. Our room... All that was on the yeah. bed. And all my clothes were just laid out on the floor and now they're all neatly packaged which is awesome but i just feel really bad about it yeah we we're slobs okay yeah. what nothing Are you gonna explain what just happened no because i'm gonna beat you the second time everybody gets lucky once in a while ben so good luck kid What? Your face is so ridiculous right now. What's going on? Just trying to get some filler material for the vlog. It's going to be a short one. <laughs> you know everybody in here? Is this like PEI of Peru? 100,000 people. Everybody knows everybody. Cheapers. Look at those palm trees. I like palm trees a lot. We don't have those back home for some reason. <laughs> oh, you want to film the master? Yeah. I actually always wanted to know how my jump shot looked. Okay, well. Really. Misses. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Sports day here at the club. Ben just finished losing his first game of ping pong 15 0. Uh, oh. Now he's playing Marcelo. Hey! 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 Hey, that's good! 
Hey, bueno. <laughs> Today we're playing uh, Canadian soccer tennis. Soccer ping pong. Oh, Canadian soccer tennis. Canadian soccer ping pong. Me and Ben made this up in Huacachina. It's almost the same as ping pong, except you have to take a touch. Yeah, the feet's hard. Take a touch, hit it back over the net. Take a touch, hit it back over the net. Oh, he didn't hit it over the net, though. Take a touch, back over the net. Take a touch, back over the net. Oh, oh, oh. The day's winding down here. Final few minutes for sunset. Uh, oh, my watch is shut off. Uh, we have around like, wow. 10 more hours until our flight. Yikes. And nine more hours to our flight. Uh, and then we'll be on our way home to Canada. So I think we're going to go grab supper uh, after we leave the pool here. And then we'll see what happens. So last night, Lima, kind of sad, but kind of happy to be going home too. It's definitely been an eye opening experience, one I wouldn't trade for the world. So had a great day. Thanks, Marcella. Hey, Bruce Willis. Yes. <laughs> what time is it? Time. Yeah, that's good. We gotta somehow fit all this stuff onto an airplane. So it's gonna be a little bit hard. We'll see how this goes. I, I'm not optimistic. You I think. Yeah, the only carry on our <laughs> Yeah, we're just luck here. So that Saturday, uh, Saturday, no? Yes. 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 In the morning, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Avianca. 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 Plan que iban y con cabritos el sábado llegaban y sí, pues llegaron a las cuatro o cinco de la tarde. Así. Bueno, ah, sí. Yeah. Bueno, y yeah. Anyway, we got to do it, so <laughs> thanks to Marcelo yeah, for yeah, taking tour it. Guy. <laughs> yeah, see. Yeah. We hope to eat something. Yes, yeah. bread with avocado. avocado. Oh, oh, of course. We okay. love avocado. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Peruvian. Peruvian <laughs> as long as it's not Canadian. It's not even up yet. You know what's good stuff? No, Peruvian avocado. That too. Yeah, been really blessed with the avocado. So where's our boy Los at? Oh, uh, I don't have my watch on, but apparently he's supposed to be home around 9. Oh, let's check my watch. <laughs> oh, it's broken. Oh, well, hopefully he'll come through the door sometime soon. Buenos dias. Hola, guapo. Buenos tardes. Buenos. How was your event? Are you ready? You don't look ready. Ready? ready? When are we leaving? We're not leaving for, another, not leaving for like hour. another hour. What are you saying? You're I need so you to do me a favor. I have had everything in advance. I do. I'm pretty much done. Mm. Yeah, I'm not done. Ben. Uh, do you see that? You, do you see that bag in the corner? Could you get me one? No, I, that's Ben's. Could you get me one like that? Do you have? Do you have one like that? Okay, gracias. Okay. Okay, gracias. Oh, oh, two, two, dos, dos, dos. dos. Para los. Yeah. You look tired, bro. Long day? Yes. Just getting that money for us. You don't want to know what we did today? Yeah, you went surfing. We went surfing, then we went to the country club. Oh, actually? Yes. Oh, yeah. Like two days in a row? Yeah, yeah. We did. They recognized me at the door. They're like, Ben Kipe. Actually? Yeah. Ben Kipe. And no one knew who I was. You recognize me. Happens. We played ping pong, then we played soccer ping pong, and then we played basketball, and then we played spike ball, and then we went in the pool, and then we went in the ocean, and then we went home. All with Marcelo? Yeah. yeah, he was a great tour guide. Marcelo was just a boss. Today. Yeah. He said we had a great time because you weren't there. <laughs> he did say that. Oh, to me. Okay. <laughs> he didn't say that to you. He said it to me. <laughs> He's okay. Yeah, no, I know. You're a white girl. You last, put a lot of last, things on Instagram. Last bucket. How was it? I just said last item on the checklist or something like that. Yeah. Um, checklist, yeah. What am I doing? You're getting the surfing video. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Which my viewers have already seen because I put it in the clip. You know what I found? You know what, what I found? Oh, this, this is, is the best one right here. Dishwashers. Dish oh, yeah. is there dishwashers here? There's no dishwashers. Look at this one. Wait, wait. Oh. Nate falls. <laughs> <laughs> Show him the good one. This is a good one. Blanco. Right? 
Were the waves fast? No, apparently not. I think they were pretty small. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was a flat day or something. I don't know how you call it. Calm. Calm day. Calm day. Calm day. What are you doing? What is that update? What update? Oh, yeah, I know. Why haven't we been watching them then? Yeah, I'm still up, I don't know. He's pretty up. You fell over. If you have to, if you had to choose between doing like surf or sandboard, what would you choose? Um, I'd choose sandboarding. We can surf at home. Like sandboarding was a lot faster. For more yeah. Taxi. Yeah. Well, I guess so. I think surfing's more fun though. Yeah, I can it's surf at home. In the ocean. Like, yeah. It's harder it is, though. It is harder. Yeah. Between friends, we're. Uh, you've heard some stories that were not like the best, but in the day, day in day, like friends are really good friends. But oh, like, yeah. with strangers, I, I I was surprised how Canadians were so nice to strangers, mm. and like also with also with their friends. But here is like friends are like like times two, and then square root of that is like a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I mean? Throwing in some math, I love it. <laughs> wow, that's some science right there. I do understand shit. You're saying you like, was, when you're with your friends, it's like twice as twice as like a but whenever you see brother, you, yeah. the strangers, the strangers like, is like less so yeah, nice. square root of, of nice nice French yeah, of niceness. Invent <laughs> about uh, it. <laughs> It's like Canadian that. education right there. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Canadian education. That's a good stuff. Minor math. You were supposed to be. You were supposed to be the, the smart one at high no, school. This is, this is he was supposed to be the smart one at high school, so everyone like I was the dumb, like the, the dumb brother. And then when, when we went to to the university, I was I became the smart brother and <laughs> the dumb brother. <laughs> 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 He didn't study for any math class, and I failed every like uh, not failed, but like I was barely passing. Yeah. And he was like getting great, yeah. great. Mm -hmm. And uh, and everyone said like, yeah, Marcel is probably going to be an engineer, and Carlos should like be an actor or something. <laughs> 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 like, a plumber. It, did they say that? Yeah, they said, you should be an actor or like marketing maybe. Yeah. And I was like, Marcelo should be an engineer because Marcelo was the opposite of me. Mm. And and when we finished, I got into like finance and math, mm. and then Marcelo, it's nothing. So <laughs> <laughs> chirps, <laughs> chirps. Things are getting personal. He, he got into engineer. Yeah, I told you that he got into engineer like in the engineer degree and then the first math class he called me and said I'm dropping I'm dropping engineer <laughs> <laughs> and I'm an engineer oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> I was like okay you can go to this this is which bit yeah I got this it's not gonna be so the gringos made to the airport didn't film any of the goodbyes it was a sad 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 time made it through security security took my wrench that's been to 10 different countries without issue, including flying in Peru without issue, but that guy decided, nah, not going on this flight. So that's a pain in the ass. He's a little annoyed about it. I literally, like, why? No questions about the drone, but my wrench? Mm -mm. Nope, no wrench. So right now we have, how much long, how much the time right now? Three hours. We have, almost exactly, almost exactly three hours, till liftoff. Our plane boards at 2.35 apparently. Um, I only have one hour Wi-Fi because Lima, Lima Airport only gives you one hour Wi-Fi. So I'm going to use that wisely. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know. Thank you very much to the Garces for hosting us. We we appreciate yes, it. We thanks. Definitely appreciate thanks it. to Peru for having us as well. Um, it was really sad. To, it's sad to leave. I have mixed feelings, you know. I want to go home. I want to see my dog mainly. My hedgehog. Don't really care as much about my immediate family. My grandparents would be cool to see. Um, <laughs> but I'm sad to be leaving my new Peruvian family. So. Aww. How cute. Mixed mixed emotions. I don't know, it's, it feels strange. I'm ready to go home, but I'm sad I'm leaving. Yeah, me too. So, until next time, Peru. We're going to find a reason to come back. I'm coming. You want to come back next year? I'd love to come back. You want to come back next year? Next year? Next year. I don't know if I have You don't like them that much, eh? <laughs> you heard that right here. Ben doesn't like you enough to come back next year. I did really like Peru. 
I really don't like the airport in Lima. First they take my wrench and then they charge me 10 souls, which is like $4 Canadian for this pop. But they advertised it as $3 American, but it didn't put US dollars on it, so it just looked like it was 3 souls. Then I went to check out and it was 10. I don't like this airport. I like Peru, I don't like this airport. This airport but it gives me nothing but pain. Uh, but one last Inca Cola before we leave though. So thanks Los for getting us hooked. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life So we're back, uh, welcome to Canada Decided we need to un-Peruvian, I said way too much Spanish going through security So, we're trying to Canadian up here with some poutine, so this will be exciting. I'm wondering, does everyone, do you put ketchup on your poutine? Don't put ketchup. I put ketchup on my poutine. That is sacrilege. That's like drinking Coca Cola with ceviche. Halifax, let's see if the car starts. It's gonna be fun. Oh, it's hard snow. Oh. Am I gonna have to shovel that? I don't know. Do you have that on video? No. Oh, Honda don't. Civic. Still starts. A lot of lights on. Oh, my battery's really low. <laughs> we'll let it run for a little bit. Okay, great. I'm going to put on my coat and go shovel, maybe. I don't know. Do I need to shovel? I don't think you're going to be able to shovel that. It's hard as ice. <sighs> oh, Alright, we'll just let the car warm up. We'll go from there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, allow me to tell you uh, what happens here at the end. So the last you've seen, uh, we've just gotten in the car. All my uh, lights are on in my car, you know. Uh, I don't really think anything of it at the time because, again, it's cold. It's been sitting there for a while. But before we even get to that, it took us about 30 minutes just to shovel the car out. Because uh, it was caked in ice. I guess I had really bad weather when we were gone. Uh, so my front tires are literally stuck in ice. And then when we got them out, there was more ice underneath. Uh, so we spent about 30 minutes with our wheels literally just spinning. Uh, did that one got gas and then you know, we decided to start in the city to take Ben home um, so Lights are still on. I'm not thinking anything of it because again, you know, it's been a while since I've driven the car um, So I'm like, yeah, I expect to have some battery issues batteries don't do good in the cold It's been really cold. It's cold today, whatever So we're driving, you know, there's a couple times like we're losing power like I'm not losing power like I'm I'm accelerating and then nothing's really happening. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's specific it happens sometimes I guess so whatever, you know, we're, we're going downtown, we're getting on to McKay Bridge, it's rush hour, it's 5 o'clock when we get back, and by the time we get to the car, and we get to the car, it's 5 o'clock. So we're going on to McKay Bridge, and then all of a sudden, all the internal lights, like my stereo, my, the lights for the heat, and the overhead light just turn off. The car's still running. 
Uh, not great, albeit, but the car's still running, so like, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> That's kind of the first real, uh-oh, no, like we have made a terrible mistake moment, but whatever, so we're still on the bridge, and it was rush hour, you can't go anywhere. There was I was in the middle lane, there's nowhere to pull over, so we go on the McKay Bridge, and I'm in the middle lane, and halfway over the bridge, my car just dies, gone. Now it won't turn on, turns out my alternator had gone. Um, so, yeah, we were stuck on the middle of the McKay Bridge that night when we got back. So we had, like, 12 hours of flying. It's late. We're tired. Deal with time change. Um, the cold. And then our, the car just dies on the McKay Bridge. Uh, and one thing, I don't know if you know, but when it's windy, the McKay Bridge actually moves a decent amount. And you don't notice it when you're driving, but when you're stopped there for an extended period of time... I got seasick. Yeah, I got seasick. I got seasick on the McKay Bridge. So that was... It was cold, really cold, biting cold, like negative 30, I think, with the wind chill. So we got frozen out real fast because we can't turn the car on for heat. Um, and then an hour and a half later, we were off the bridge. The bridge authority came, got us, tow truck. They were really nice about it. They were really great. Took the car to Canyon Tire, Quinpool Road. Uh, and yeah, $500 later, the next day, I was back on the road. So that was the end to our Peru trip. But I mean, it could have been worse. could have been stuck in the Cobga Pass. And had that happened, it would have been more expensive tow. And at least if you're on the bridge, they have to get you off. So... Yeah, that's it. Um, thank you to everybody who made this trip great. And uh, the ending was not indicative of the quality of the overall trip. Um, so I'm happy to report. So, Los has actually just gotten a new puppy. Because, again, I'm editing this about a year after. Almost uh, a year and two days after we got back and this happened to us. So, he got a new puppy. So, I guess we didn't want to see it when you when we went down. I guess it makes sense for you to get now. Los, thanks a lot. Um, but I'm sure we'll be back down sometime to see the pupper. So, again... Uh, if you watched all these terrible videos, thank you very much, and congrats on making it to the end. And we're home safe. I guess kind of left you guys in cliffhanger. Never, you never knew if we were home safe, but we are, despite the challenges. Yeah. <laughs>